Okay, so I made a post earlier today and you know, we had some civil conversations underneath it and I want to address this in a video. Um, so we have a serious drug epidemic that's been going around and we have a lot of lack of resources. And before you stop listening right here and are like, no, we don't. Okay, so we have a lot of rehabilitation centers, but they offer more drugs. I believe in abstinence-based recovery. It's what works. A person needs to learn how to get through their day with nothing. Period. Relearn life. Um, we could easily do these programs where we give good resources, comfortable places to stay, and good programs. In return, when recovery is achieved, we can also give purpose to the recovered addict. By doing this, we give them a job to do that serves the community, such as helping homeless, set up self-sustaining communities that they can also get back into the work field, helping troubled teens, volunteering um, services into sports groups. Um, there's so much that they could give back and have purpose afterwards and feel reintegrated, feel part of society. Because the biggest thing with addicts is feeling alone. And when you stick them through these ridiculous programs that funnel all of our tax paying money, tons of it, I won't say all because it's inaccurate, but a lot, the prison system getting a lot, it is less investment to help these people and give them a purpose of help to help another issue that we also have. And they feel like they have a purpose. It helps recovery and it helps the community. And in the long run, this helps everyone. What is there really to lose from doing this? Lose what? Being able to complain about the problem? You know, we can resolve the problem with simple techniques that cost so much less than what we're spending now. We have federal legal drug dealing, okay, that are giving synthetic heroines. Why do we need synthetic heroines? Do yoga or something or meditation or prayer. Get that spiritual connection in whichever way you find it um, back for these people. Help them feel like they're part of something bigger so they can walk away feeling like they're giving back what they took after their recovery. Help them become a part of society, a functioning part of society. By doing this, you have nothing to lose. How could anybody be mad about changing this? This horrible system that we have in play. We are creating monsters inside of our prison system paying tons of money to do this. And then they're setting them free with nothing and we pay for it again. You know, what's the point in prison when child molesters are getting six years and people that steal steaks are getting eight? What is the point in a rehabilitation center that doesn't teach you how to relive without drugs? They just give you more that are pretty potent, you know? Um, that's why I say abstinence-based, because a person needs to come in and learn how to not do anything and get up every morning and, and relearn. It's much like quitting cigarettes. It's much like changing your diet. You know, you need those days and that practice. And some people do need more help at it. And that's okay. It's not anything to be shamed. They just need more help. And by not investing in that help, what do you get? You get somebody that never gets help and never changes. It gets worse, in fact. So I don't think it's that much to, instead of funnel our money into the prison systems and into legal drug dealing and give all this money to the drug dealer, and that's a federal drug dealer, and give all the money to the prison systems and allow them to take money out of your pocket on top of the money they're taking out of your pocket by JPay services and phone communications and so forth, breaking families of loved ones, that we change our whole outlook, our whole mind frame on this. Why not get facilities that do abstinence-based recovery and then in return for this abstinence-based recovery, if you need three months, four months, whatever, 
um, you then give back to another program, which could be the homeless. We start building little sheltered communities for them and allowing them to start having homes and get reintegrated back into society. They give back. It turns into a whole cycle of helping. What is there to lose? There's nothing you can lose from that. You can only gain or it stay the same, which I doubt it's going to stay the same because it's reaching people in the levels of where they felt disconnected in the first place. And it's stopping the barriers that keep them from reintegrating into society. So then all that can happen is good things. Why? Why don't we do that? As a society, why are we looking up to big government like mom and dad? Hey, are y'all, are y'all going to answer this for us? No, they work for us. We forget that. We're their boss. And society has forgotten that. They cry to big gov mama daddy and forget we run this stuff. Nobody else.